What's up everyone and welcome back to the Live Alive. Today let's get started with. Gravenberch urges Klopp to sign Jurian Timber, Liverpool star Ryan Gravenberch has admitted he would love Jurgen Klopp to sign Arsenal ace Jurian Timber. The Netherlands international would welcome linking up with the defender again at Anfield, both Gravenberch and Timber made the move to the Premier League in the summer transfer window. Arsenal made Timber one of their first signings, bringing him in from Ajax for a fee of up to £38 million. He had already suffered an anterior cruciate knee ligament injury before Gravenberch had signed for Liverpool. Timber sustained the devastating blow on his Premier League debut against Nottingham Forest. Liverpool brought in Gravenberch on the final day of the summer window for around £34 million as Klopp completed his midfield overhaul. He arrived from Bayern Munich, just a year after he left Ajax for Germany. Gravenberch and Timber were close friends at Ajax, making the majority of their senior club appearances together. And when asked which Dutch compatriot he would like to join him at Liverpool, Gravenberch only had one answer. He told Sky Sports Reddit AMA, I go maybe for a good friend of mine, Jurian Timber. I played my whole life with him. He's like a brother to me so that's why I choose him. Gravenberch and Timber won two Eredivisie titles together at Ajax, as well as the Dutch Cup in 2021. But his hopes of playing with him again at club level may have to wait, Arsenal won't be willing to let Timber leave anytime soon. The versatile defender made an impressive start in pre-season, as well as in the Community Shield win over Manchester City, Arteta outlined how impressed he had already been with Timber following the cruel injury news. Arteta said, it's a huge blow, especially for him having just joined the club to have the injury that he has is a huge disappointment for him. We recruited him with clear intentions and what he was bringing to the team was evident, and he's not going to be in this season for us, we have to adapt, these things happen unfortunately, and we have to move on. Jurian has been very good, to be honest, he's a special character. Henderson sends 21-word message after former Liverpool star boo during England game, former Liverpool captain Jordan Henderson has broken his silence after facing boos from some England fans following his transfer to Saudi Pro League side Al Etifak. Henderson, who captained England against Australia in Harry Kane's absence, expressed his pride in leading his country despite the negative reception. The midfielder's exit from Liverpool sparked controversy, as he reunited with former teammate Steven Gerrard at his new club. In an interview with The Athletic, Henderson opened up about the criticism he received and described feeling hurt by it. Henderson's move to Saudi Arabia drew anger from Liverpool fans and LGBTQ groups who had previously considered him an ally. The midfielder's first match under the arch at Wembley since speaking out about his transfer was met with jeers from the crowd, however, Henderson remained defiant and took to social media to share a message about the honour of representing his country and leading the team out at Wembley. Always an honour to represent my country, never take it for granted, he posted on Instagram. It's extra special to lead the team out at Wembley, England manager Gareth Southgate stood by Henderson despite his move to a relatively unknown league. Southgate defended the midfielder during an appearance on TalkSport, emphasizing his exceptional contributions to the national team, he is a player who has won 79 caps for England. His commitment and what he has delivered for England is exceptional, Southgate said post-match. His role within the group both on and off pitch is phenomenally important. He is the one who took Jude Bellingham under his wing and is a role model for the group in his professionalism and approach to every part of his work. Henderson's journey since leaving Liverpool has been met with mixed reactions. While some fans have criticised his decision, others have acknowledged his contributions to the club during his time as captain. Liverpool defender just took next big step at level Curtis Jones and Harvey Elliott excelled in, given the sheer amount of exciting homegrown talent currently plying their trade at Liverpool's academy. It would be a fair statement to say this current generation coming through is one of the best in potentially at least a decade. Liverpool has always prided itself in developing elite prospects, from Michael Owen, Robbie Fowler and Steve McManaman to Steven Gerrard and Jamie Carragher, and in the last decade the likes of Raheem Sterling and Trent Alexander-Arnold, the Reds have always had a conveyor belt of top talents, in the last decade, though, with the exception of the aforementioned Sterling and Alexander-Arnold, few have made their mark for the England national team. But that could now change, in Curtis Jones and Harvey Elliott, Jurgen Klopp has at least two players who are destined to represent the three Lions in the future, and there might now be a third to add to that list as well, Jarrell Kwanzaa has been making great strides since coming into the first team setup in the summer. A promising preseason has led to plenty of senior appearances in the Premier League, Europa League and the League Cup, which has seen Kwanzaa emerge as a serious talent, 
With his composure on the ball and excellent ability to read the game, Kwanzaa has become a reliable pillar who can be called upon by Klopp when necessary. He stepped up in crucial away games against Newcastle and Wolves in the league, and showed himself in Europe and in domestic competitions as well. So far he has impressively won 16 of the 19 defensive duels he has contested for the club's first team this season as per Wiscout, while making 18 interceptions and 38 recoveries. His passing has been brilliant as well. And that's the end of this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to support me.